School, work, the demands of life. It all seems to be going well until one day we hit a wall and it's as if we can't even muster up the energy to perform the most basic of tasks like getting up from being horizontal. For anyone who's feeling this way, I don't want to do anything. I feel ya. I don't want to do anything. When we think of the word productivity, we often think of getting as much work done as possible. But what if I told you one of the secrets to optimal productivity and one of the secrets to some of the most productive people is actually learning how to rest. Think back to the last time you slowed down, listened to your body, and gave yourself space to breathe and just be. I'm guessing for most of us, it was some time in the distant past, a past that may seem like a lifetime ago, which is why our paths crossed in the making and the watching of this video. So what can we do when we don't feel like doing anything? The first thing for deep rest is to really carve out time. I had so much resistance, even just five minutes before I turned on the camera and started filming, where I felt like I just didn't wanna do anything. I didn't wanna film. I didn't wanna film myself relaxing. I just wanted to lay there. But I reminded myself, this is actually the worst state to be in, which is you don't wanna do anything, but you feel like you're forced to do something. So you end up doing that thing in a very like upset, mood and upset state when i change my when i change my thinking on this and reframe myself to remind myself that the first thing is to be very intentional with when you choose to potato i was like yes i'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon potatoing without any guilt without any shame and just enjoy it. Reminding myself that the very first thing is to be intentional with resting completely changed my outlook and just made me excited to want to start cleaning and want to start filming myself cleaning and doing the things that I'm going to be doing throughout this video. Woo! <laughs> Whether it's a day, half a day, an hour, or even 10 minutes, we all got 10 minutes, commit to giving yourself a break. Not this kind of break though, we're gonna address this in a, in a second. As Cal Newport mentioned in his TEDx talk that I'll link down below, the less fragmented our attention is, the more we're able to preserve our ability to concentrate, whether we're working or resting. This will help us work deeply when we're working so that we can rest deeply when we rest. Which brings us to the second point of putting away technology. Quoting Cal Newport once again, the author of Deep Work and Digital Minimalism, he defines solitude deprivation as a state in which you spend close to zero time alone with your own thoughts and free from input from other minds. I feel like this is how we've all more or less been spending our days, yes. Although I often listen to audiobooks while flailing around my apartment and cleaning, doing whatever it is that I do, in the name of deep resting, let's spend that afternoon in silence so that I can bask in the glory of my own thoughts. It should come to no one's surprise that cleaning is something that sparks immense joy to me. It's a form of active resting because it gives me time to think, all the while helping me create an environment that I'll be able to eventually rest deeply in. I'm the type of person who won't be able to truly rest until my space is relatively tidy, but if you're not this type of person, you can skip the cleaning and go straight to setting the mood for your deep resting activities. Whatever you know will help you rest deeply do that. You can even skip all of the above, turn off your lights, and start deep hibernating. Why not? Now that we've committed to resting, we put our phones away, and we've set the mood, continue to sui qi zi ran, or go with the flow, and go where your heart needs you. Even though your deep rest may be intentional and or scheduled, it doesn't mean you have to plan for everything you need to do ahead of time and make sure you stick on schedule and check all the boxes off. That's not the rest that we're looking for and that's not true rest. So leave room to be spontaneous like unboxing. <laughs> Silly thing to be excited about. Let's put this up. All these beads are apparently supposed to dissolve over time and fall into here. These are from a brand called, I cannot pronounce it, H-V-I-S-K. <laughs> I saw it on 
Kaya Kinda Cool's YouTube channel. And there's also these other bags that I saw that are woven. They're so cute. So I also got those. I do this thing where I don't spend any money for extended periods of time and I save all of my money. And then there will be a day where I'll spend like more than I should. Here is this one. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this color. This one was the one that I was super excited to get. I discovered very recently that green is my color. Like this bag. Ooh, this is cute. I love the detail here and how it's... This package is from Ore. Two necklaces and a couple of rings. One thing I'm saying while editing these clips is how genuinely happy I look. It's less about the things really and more about the endless possibilities of putting outfits together. This is something I used to spend countless hours on in my childhood bedroom before getting lost in the busyness of life. Anyway, I got so excited putting on these pieces that I forgot to utter a single word. Jewelry is also something I've been meaning to look into, so I'm incredibly grateful to Orate for sponsoring today's video. They're a fine jewelry brand with pieces ranging from classics to statements that could be dressed up or down to add a little oomph to any outfit. I love that I never have to take these off because they're made from real gold. To me, Ore is like the Warby Parker of jewelry, hacking the market and cutting out the middleman to make gold more accessible while giving women high quality pieces with the beautiful designs at affordable price points while doing good and giving back. All their materials are ethically sourced and sustainably made. If you'd like to check out Ore for yourself, you can get 15% off your first purchase. Go to oratenewyork.com, A-U-R-A-T-E, newyork.com slash Rowena and use my code Rowena. Alrighty, we've done a lot in the apartment. The sun's about to set. I want to go catch the sunset. All for being spontaneous, right? That's what, that's what deep resting means. You can plan to deep rest, but what you do during the periods of deep resting can be up to you. You can be spontaneous. Let's go. And like the art of doing nothing, when was the last time you were bored? I remember growing up in the 90s, I was constantly bored with my cousins. So we'd come up with all these games, all these imaginary friends, and just we would just play and we would be creative because we were bored. And it's in those moments of boredom where it just, it forces you in a good way to be as creative as you can. And it's truly in boredom where some of the best ideas come from. When we we're young, we needed to rest deeply in the form of sleep so we can physically grow. Now that we're older, we need to rest deeply for us to mentally and spiritually grow. Quoting an article I'll link down below, believe it or not, being fine with being bored can be one of the toughest things to achieve these days. Our culture of connectivity means that whenever we have any downtime whatsoever, we should strive to fill it in any way possible, be that consciously or subconsciously. But that's the trick. Having some time to simply daydream or stare into space has real value in the road to deep rest. As boredom, by definition, is deep rest. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. So something that I've been background processing a lot lately and something that's been low-key pain painting me. I feel like, like there's a generation of kids that feel like they need to be, like they, they feel like they need to have everything together by the time they're like 13. There's high schoolers applying for internships at tech startups. There's high schoolers reaching out to me to help work on my channel, which I think it's amazing. They wanna work hard, they want to learn, they wanna grow professionally in all of these ways. But a part of me can't help but feel like it pains me. Like it actually pains me to, see how to see 
where I was a few years ago and like how hard I was working as like a young adult, the burnouts that I'm going through, all of the stresses, all of like the mental health stuff that I was trying to balance along with all of this. As a 20 something year old, almost 30 year old, trying to navigate your life, who you are, what you wanna do with your life and trying to balance all of that with work, that's already hard. But thinking back to like 13 or even high school, it's such a pivotal time in your life to explore, to enjoy, to discover, to meet people, to talk to people, to learn about things that you wanna learn about. But during this time, I feel like if you're just so focused on working, on your career, on school, on getting good grades, on all of these things, which honestly there's nothing wrong with, but this takes us back to the deep work and the deep rest. I think a lot of us, myself included, for most of my life, or no, for most of the past like five years, every single egg that I have was put in the deep working basket or like the work productivity trying to do something with my life basket. No eggs were put into the resting basket. And I think this is, this is the imbalance and this is probably what's leading generations of us like multi-generations into the state that we're currently in. We're super stressed. We're always almost burning out. We feel like we need to do all of these things. We feel like we need to be all of these people all at once. And we feel like we need to be perfect. We feel like we need to do all of these things so that we can live up to our peers. We seldom take the time to go inward and ask ourselves, what do you want? And who do you want to be? And what is important to you? And I think it is through this inward journey of sitting yourself down, it can be a quiet place, it can be after a day of deep resting, and you're like, what do I wanna do? Who do I wanna be? And if the answer is, I don't know, that's totally fine, totally fine. The older I've gotten, the more that I've realized, truly that cliche quote of the more you know, the more you know you don't know. And there's also beauty in accepting that that it's okay to not know, that we don't need to know, despite what society may tell us, despite what our parents may tell us, despite what our peers may tell us. At the end of the day, so long as you're trying to do your best exactly where you are with what you have, that is more than enough. And I feel like if I can go back even in a little time capsule back to five years ago when Rowena first started this YouTube journey, and started making videos, I would tell her that, you know, like, yes, it's important to work hard and it's important to be productive and optimize your schedule. It's more important to take good care of yourself and to take good care of your heart because at the end of the day, we say this all the time, work's always gonna be there. And like, yeah, our heart's always gonna be there too, but the state of our heart, whether our heart is in a good place, whether it's in a bad place, whether it's stress all the time, whether it's joyful and happy all the time, like that's, that's uh, it's important to check in with our hearts, our mind, our body, and our hearts. Stay young, stay fun, <laughs> stay happy. And yeah, just don't, don't work yourself too hard. If no one's told you recently, you're doing great, exactly where you are. It's okay if you do two less things, you'll be just as awesome as you currently are. Be good to yourself, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other. If you see your friends stressing, if you see your friends struggling, remind them that they're good, that they're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great, sweetie. We're doing great, sweetie. And with that, oh, here's a hug. Oh God. <laughs> Just knock my candle over. All right, remember to deep, rest as hard as you try to deep work see you guys in the next episode all right see ya <laughs>